how to fix your mac overheating i'll take you through multiple methods and some will be software some will be hardware related well only one hardware related so stay tuned until the end of the video and do consider subscribing a heating mac is a slowing down mac so if you want to fix this first things first you want to go to activity monitor and check your cpu usage so we have the cpu tab over here so we'll just wait for the applications to load so here you can see we have all the processes and all their names and basically you can tell which process is using how much of the cpu so if something is very intensive something which you are not using is taking up a lot of cpu percentage you want to close it so for example in my case i can't turn off screen capture because i'm recording this video for you guys but i can for example click on zoom and click on this cross over here so if i click on stop i can force quit this application and that is going to free up my cpu space now you can do this for multiple applications correct so for example again i'll click on notes turn it off or you can just go to that application and then press command plus Q and that will quit the application. So that could be one thing. And here you can see we have CPU load at the bottom. Now CPU load could go above a certain threshold in which case it is also going to start heating up. For now my CPU is pretty relaxed so I don't have to face this issue. Sometimes you will see that your CPU is about 60-70% for no reason and this could be the applications that are running in the background some applications could be malicious so you may have to scan through them once a while let's say i am using my browser and i can open up a lot of tabs what these tabs do is take up a lot of memory on your computer right so if i go to memory over here you can see google chrome is taking about 155 mb for no reason so again here we have Google Chrome. So it's quite CPU intensive and GPU intensive right now because all these tabs are open and these are just new tabs. If I am to open a website on each one of them, imagine how much resource it's going to actually use. So this could be one of the reasons why your computer is heating up because it's taking up a lot of resources. Then you want to move on to the next thing, which is login items. So in login items, basically all the applications that open up when you start your Mac. This sometimes is helpful and sometimes it's just unnecessary. It's going to open up applications that you don't really need and use all the time. So if you scroll down here, you have login items and extensions, click on that. And here you can see I have Notion. Now Notion I generally use. If I don't need this, I can just select this application, click on minus and that will go away. So every time my Mac starts, Notion would not be an application that is automatically starting as well. Now in the background here you can see we have Zoom and Google LLC. So Google LLC because I've installed Google Drive could be running in the background which again takes up space and memory and obviously CPU resources and Zoom. Zoom is not something I use all the time. So I'll just click Zoom. So I will just turn off Zoom so it won't be running in the background. To close unwanted applications you can also force quit applications. So you can go to the Apple logo over here click on force quit and here you can see all the applications that are running in the background so let's say i don't want music and facetime i can select multiple applications with the command button pressed and force quit let's force quit and it's going to close all those applications that i don't need once you have done all this you want to make sure you update your mac so when i say update your mac not go out and buy a new one that would be an upgrade but you want to go to system settings in general, you want to go to software update and check whether you have the latest software installed. If not, make sure you install it. Many times a small bug could be causing your CPU or your Mac to heat up unnecessarily, which is going to drain your battery as well and take up a lot of resources. So check for updates, make sure your Mac is up to date. So here you can see I have an update for Sequoia 15.5. I can just click on update tonight or restart now and update it right away. Then go to systems again, go to battery and then in battery you want to scroll down till you see this options button and over here you want to optimize video streaming while on battery. So if you click this and you consume a lot of content on your computer, especially when you are on battery, this could help it work a lot longer. So click on modify settings and that is about it. So every time you watch videos, it's going to optimize for that as well. If nothing works, and your computer has a fan 
consider that your fan is blocked. So there is no ventilation to your CPU, your internals, and that is causing the heating. So make sure you physically clean your Mac every once a while. Fans are bound to get blocked. So I would go to the Apple store or any trustworthy place and get my Mac cleaned. That would work wonders, not just on Mac, but on any computer. So that is about it. If you have found this video helpful, do drop a like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video.